Miss Zenosha has created her blog, Locks and Trinkets, as an outlet for her personal style and music. She's bold, she's fearless, and with a combination of posh, chic, and sexy, she defines what it means to be simple, but never basic. You have these pictures in what looks like back alleys, and you make these pictures look so amazing with your style, and shows how fearless you are. Have you ever ran into anything during a photo shoot that was dangerous? And I shoot with my friend like early in the morning, downtown LA, which isn't, you know, it can be sketchy. Be a little crazy. <laughs> This guy just like rolled up on us and he was really close to us and he was just like staring at us. And my friend was like, can I help you? She's getting an attitude. She was like, keep it moving. And he just got so mad. He was like swearing at us. He's like, I'll show you. So like it was kind of really like we ended up just changing where we were shooting for that day. But like that night I like went on Amazon and bought pepper spray. There you go. <laughs> what aspect of your blog are you loving right now this second? If there's something I'm going through, I like to write about it because you never know if there's readers out there that are going through the same thing or feel the same way or need some encouragement. Right. So I like to do things like that. So we're going to play a little game called Finish the Sentence. I'm okay. sure, I'm sure <laughs> you're used to this from grade school. You've been invited to a big movie premiere and your number one choice designer to wear on the red carpet would be... I really like Michael Costello. A high-end magazine just asked you to contribute and write about the most fascinating woman in fashion for you. Who would you write about? Solange. Her style is so effortless. Your fashion motto. If it looks good, wear it. Hey, there you go, I sister. Feel like people are like, oh, can I put this color in this color? Like, if it looks good on you, if you feel good in it, just wear it. What is your dirty blogger secret? This is like an old secret, because I guess it's not now, but when I first <laughs> moved to LA, which is, I think was like three or four years ago, and I was blogging, I felt like I was living a double life because I would have all these beautiful designer clothes on and just cute outfits, and I had no furniture in my apartment. So that was kind of a secret of mine because wow. I feel like people think, oh, like she's going to go home and I bet her house is so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> fake it till you make I it, girl. It. I totally faked it till yes. I made it because when moving here is difficult. So I guess you I mean, I struggled for probably the first year or two when I moved here and finally I'm just like, oh, I think I'm settled in yeah. LA now. Everybody, well, thank you so much for coming here. You can find me on my blog. It's locksandtrinkets.com. Thank you.